All right, guys, with me in the kitchen making her debut on the show is Tina Shar. She is a qualified lawyer and the head chef at Solin, a contemporary African restaurant dedicated to good food memories through a touch of Western influences. Hey, hey, hey. This one, you came to Pepe's gang this morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and this morning, she'll be making Akara waffles with her signature sauce, Zolin sauce. We're really looking forward to the Zolin sauce. All right, so let's talk about Akara waffles and the ingredients we'll be working with this morning. Okay. So, yeah, over to you. So Akara waffles is pretty much Akara, but without the deep frying. Mm. So what we do here is to make the paste. So you have your beans here, yeah. and we have some pepper, yeah. salt, and a, a bit of seasoning if you like, just season it to taste. So I'll do okay. mine here. I have the beans paste here, I have the ball paste. That's yeah. for the bean balls or bean cake, so that's for the Akara? Yes. Okay. So the beans, mm. you wash it, you blend it with some onions, and some salt and pepper. Okay. Yeah. So I'm putting in my seasoning Seasoning now. Okay. Yeah. And a bit of salt. Okay. So are we putting in our, because I can see ginger, garlic, so I'm guessing that's for our sauce, right? Yes, that's for our sauce. Okay. But if you like, you can put some ginger in it. Never hot. Ginger oh. and garlic, always a good combination, combination. with most meals. Okay. Yes. So let's talk about the ingredients for our Zolin sauce. Okay then. Now while you're working with your okay. the Akara, let's talk about the ingredients for the sauce. Yes. Go ahead. All right. Okay, so the Zolin sauce is actually our signature sauce. Mm. What okay. we just do is to Yes, what we do is to just add onions, um, tomatoes, garlic and ginger of course. Okay. And then some bell peppers, green pepper. Mm. And then we have our African basil to it. Okay. I think that's our own twist okay. to the So it's pretty easy. Yes, it well. is. Okay. It is. So I'm guessing this is ready, right? Yeah, so in here we have... Waffle. Oh, okay. So of course, because it's called Akara Waffles, we are definitely making use of a waffle maker. maker. Yeah, instead. So this is basically like a sophisticated way mm -hmm. of making Akara. So instead of frying it in deep in a, in a deep fry with, yes. you know, lots of vegetable oil, you could just use your waffle maker to, you know, make your Akara. Yes. And I just said if you didn't couldn't do that. Like I never thought you would ever use like bean, like waffles, waffle maker to make you know other waffles. Anyways, it's fine. So over to you. Yes. Yeah, so, so in here we have our blended beans, right? Yes. The beans. Salt, seasoning, cubes, pepper. Yes. Yeah. So I just wanted to also add that um, the contemporary or the old way our parents used to cook, mm. that's by deep frying, mm. was handed over to us many years ago. Yeah. And now with technology and every other thing that's available to us. I think we can do better in cooking right, space, right? So, right. And this not only tastes better, mm. it's also healthier. Mm. Less oil, so you don't have to put oil oh, on it. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, so we just true, put the true. oil spray. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we use the it's oil not spray. Hot yet. Okay. okay. So that's been heating for a while, though. It should be hot. No, now. the red light has to go off, so it has it okay. works with. I should have put it on. Oh, wow, well, oh, okay. Yeah, great. But, um, in five oh, right. minutes, it should be ready. So whilst we are waiting for our waffle maker to heat up, please remind us how the ingredients we're working with for our Zolin sauce. Okay, so we're, we're using the onions, garlic and ginger, I mean, yeah. our signature as well. Okay. We have pepper, we have tomatoes, we have green and uh, red bell pepper. Okay. And our African basil. All okay. right. So let's talk about the process for making the sauce. Okay. Like, just take us through the process. Yes, so you put it on the pan, mm -hmm. you put the oil on it, yeah. and then you fry the onions okay. to be white. Okay. And then you add your ginger, your garlic, you put your tomatoes, and then your green and your red bell pepper. Oh, very so much, easy. Yes. And I'm sure the snail comes in for garnishing. <laughs> yes, right. yes. Right. Great stuff happening here on the show. I hope you are as excited as we are. So just in case you're wondering what Zolin is, it's actually her signature sauce. Yeah. Yeah, great. So quickly, let's talk about where we are with our waffles and then we move over to our Zolin sauce. So one of the waffle, waffle maker. maker to yeah. heat up, so it's hot now. Yeah. So the next step is to put the So it's important spray. to use your oil spray yes. just to grease it yeah, up. So that yeah. it doesn't stick to, stick to the Yes, to the um, pan. Yes. Great. So let's talk about what's in here. Okay, so we have the blended 
beans. beans. Yeah. We have the onions. We have some bell pepper, red bell pepper, mm. and the uh, salt and seasoning cube mm. in here. Okay. So just season to taste whatever you like. If you like ginger, you can add ginger as well. Mm. Nice. So this is one sophisticated way to make your akara. So instead of frying it in vegetable oil and then deep fry, you just put it in your waffle maker after it. So it's basically the same process, but just a different technique. Yeah, basically. All right, so let's move on to our Zolin sauce. Yes, yeah. Start over with you that. need something? Yes. Just what do you need? Frying spoon. Okay, I the... could get that for you. Thank you. All right, so we are waiting for our pan to heat up, yeah? Yes, we are. Okay. It's already hot, actually. All right, uh, so I'm not exactly sure what kind of. If you need a so spatula. Okay, or you need this. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, great. This is fine. All right. Uh, so we take some of the onions. onions. Okay. So as the Zolin sauce is pretty easy. It's actually a very easy recipe. Yes. Nothing serious. So it's just something to go along with our akara. So instead of having pap, which is uh, I mean, whenever we have akara, always it always yes. goes with pap or yes. agege <laughs> bread. Or, um, and, I mean, it's not bad because it, people like the sweet and savory combination. Yeah. But this is all savory. Mm. But if you're also a sweet, a sweet person, you can have like a hot milk or hot chocolate to it. Yeah. It's still a good combo. But something different, really. Ah, she said hot about. chocolate. <laughs> we need to remind Tina here that. <laughs> No, no, I'm doing my. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just saying that we need to remind you that uh, we here we okay. take our akara with pap ogi, right. hot ogi. <laughs> just, <laughs> I just didn't say that. Yeah. Anyway, so where we at? Okay, so uh, right now our ginger and garlic is in there. Yeah. All yeah. right. What's next? So next we add our tomatoes. Okay. Our guys, tomatoes. Mm. I love the way this like. Finely yes. chopped, really nice. Yes, thank you. So that's all part of the signature, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So if you're just joining us and you're wondering what this is, this is our waffle maker. Uh, and our akara is coming out pretty nicely. And uh, look at this here. We made a couple. Okay. This is really nice. So you could just, you know, cut them into really nice slices. Yes. And you're good to go. Yes, definitely. Mm, loving it. Sorry. Loving this. All right. So what's next? That's the pepper. The, okay. Habanero pepper. Ataru. I heard. Better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. okay, let this be for a bit. Okay. So talking about our um, leaf here, this is um, lettuce. Yes. So, yeah, I was going to show you how another way to eat the your akara waffle. You okay. can use it to like a slider or burger. So we have some bread in here. Oh, I'll show you so we can put so it in the bread. It on. Yes. Oh, nice. So we can plate it like this with our snail or mm. dessert, so whatever you like. Nice. Okay, yeah. I'm looking forward to the burger <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah. I'm really looking forward to that one. So well, you're going to like chop our snails into tiny bits, yeah? Yes, yes. And then put it on there. Too. Okay, great. So it seems our zolin sauce is almost ready. Yes, it is. Okay. So I'll put some seasoning. This black pepper. Okay. Every chef works with black pepper. Mm -hmm. That's like your their go-to seasoning. All right. So breakfast is almost served. Actually, yeah. almost ready. I mean, this is so easy to make. I know that the weekend is not around. It's not anywhere close. <laughs> but. Hey, if you're watching right now, you grab a pen and paper and just, you know, scribble down. Pay attention to every, you know, detail and, of, and so ingredients of what we're working with this morning, you know. And just try it over the weekend. I mean, if you have the time of your, if you're home and you still have the time, you could all also try it out. I mean, it's a very easy recipe. If you have your waffle maker, I mean, save yourself the stress of that, you know, getting your akara soaked in so much oil. Yeah, right? Try it in a waffle maker and you know, you're good to go. So, our akara right. food is ready. All right. It takes between five minutes and we're done. I mean, you, you can never even tell the difference. Yeah. You can never tell the difference. I mean, it all looks same to me. Akara waffles, regular, 
pancake waffles. They all look same, no difference at all. Okay, then you put the, uh, this is right here is the African basil. African yes. basil. Yes. Okay. What you call St. Louis. Oh, St. Yes, that's okay. our own seasoning, so that's what we do. Okay, I'm not allowed to talk about my restaurant. Yeah, I wouldn't know that. Okay, <laughs> so great. <laughs> Okay, yes, yeah, so I know that you stand for um, a lot of um, sophisticated Western infused African. Yeah. You know, there's that infu that fusion that you that goes that you do that you put yeah. together with your meals, basically. Yeah. yeah. So I can see that elements basically in your zoling yeah. sauce. I just wanted to say that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right. So great stuff happening here on the show, guys. So yeah, here our... with me is Chef Tina. Azolin sauce is almost ready and we are having a ball on the show. I hope you as well. I hope you like Akara. <laughs> Akara. Mm, I'm not a fan of Akara, but this bread that I'm making. <laughs> so this is just, you know, we've just decided to just, you know, make it a little bit sophisticated. Mm -hmm. So you have Akara burger. There's a Akara yeah. burger now. Akara but burger, instead yeah. of Agege bread, we're using um, burger, bun. burger buns, basically. Yeah. So um, Chef Tina, over to you. The... Quickly. Burger bun yeah. to um, roast a bit with some butter for good measure to arouse the taste of the bread before you pull it wow. So arouse the taste of the bread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you could either have it with the zoline sauce or you could have it as a burger. What did you call it? The what? Sauce? Zoline, zoline sauce. sauce. Ah, it's yes. her signature sauce. Actually. Well, God will help. So, you. Yeah. <laughs> so this is actually akara. <laughs> Where is the akara? This is yes, this is the akara. Yes, akara ah, waffles. Okay. <laughs> Even me say I'm surprised. Like I am surprised. Sure? Akara waffles. I said it's yeah. Yeah. So yeah. just have a taste. Have a taste. Have a taste. I am going to be able to see whether I told you it's a sophisticated method. It's another, you know. You want to take it with the sauce as well? Alright. One try with the sauce, the sauce on top, so you know. That's only a carol. The snail. I broke my fast. Oh, really? Yes. I was, I was. But I just broke it down. Chef Tina. Chef Tina. Wow, this is nice. Oh, nice. Well done. What issue now is I will taste this. How am I going to make this? Okay, I'll go and watch. The video. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, it's just the regular way you make a kara. Just with use your waffle you maker. Just have to get a waffle maker. That's it. Wow. Very easy. You just get one. It's not you expensive. I'll tell you your cooking. All right. So um, we have something special. Yeah. On standby. Yep. Mm -hmm. To round up the show. Yes. A big indeed. shout out to Homely for uh, the kitchen accessories, of course. Yes, indeed. And of course, a big shout out to all our friends who have showed up for us. Yeah. Shout out to Heidi Kabasa. Thank you. And Thanks. we have. And this is for Mike Messikennan. Hey, this is for Apple. Not this is me. No, the music. <laughs> the music, actually. Apple.